Hi guys, 732 Review Crew, back guy Mikey. And I'm Mike. And this is Clone Wars Season 5, Episode 5, Tipping, tipping points. points. The finale of the Alderaan arc, not the Alderaan arc to be confused. And well, as, we know how the Alderaan arc ended. Yeah, that's right. And as of last episode, though, the king has been liberated and have a rebellion mounting against the unofficial, you know, government, the unofficial king of this wonderful place. He was the official king. He was, but we don't like him. But I want to see how this arc ends. I'm very excited, especially because this is our first introduction to the Gar uh, Saw Gara and his sister. Um, and I want to see what happens. So, and Ahsoka will continue intervening when she shouldn't. Yeah, okay. That's probably pretty true. <laughs> see if the Jedi Council is going to send help, though. There's only one way for us to find out, and that's for us to watch. So thank you for joining us. We're going to be starting Clone Wars in three, two, one. What do you think the help's gonna be? You know. <laughs> I've seen this before, so I can't say. I know. You're gonna love the help. Disobedience is a demand for change. Oh, he started shooting? Subjects, I appear not as your king, but as a servant of Onderon. I have come to know them as the true sons of Onderon. They are unwilling to surrender our freedom to those who can start to take it from us. No one notices the pterodactyl? Uh oh. Why are they looking at us that way? Oh! The droid massacre has been prevented. <laughs> George Lucas laughing as he writes that scene. <laughs> <laughs> my men await your command, my lord. I believe there is a new contender. You will lead our forces, including the royal army. Stila is now the commanding general. That's big. That's huge. A great choice. He tried to... The pterodactyl. No time for love. Purpose before passion. There it goes. <gasps> Kiss. Uh oh, there she is. Just in case. Ahsoka. Yeah. She's hurting. Poor um, I don't know. I feel like there was a little growth there. A little bit, but it still hurts. Our scouts have located the main rebel forces in the mountains to the east. I like how the more competent drones have deep voices. We spare the, the, the ones that are rebels in the mountains. Bumbling, they're like, hey, wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, gunships. The droids. Everything's a droid. Makes it easier, doesn't it? Except for the tanks. The tanks aren't droids. Which I don't understand. Wow, big army. This music. War! Yep. Calvary. That seems dangerous. Yeah, I really think this is a terrible idea. That's a better idea. The E-Web Blaster up there. Although, shoot, you see that? Woo. Right. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Woo. oh. They like turn the violence up to ten right now. <laughs> Shield. Oh, Saw's gonna do some crazy shit, isn't he? Please. Slightly lob. You're right. Oh. Yeesh. That's crazy. He's alive. Do not stay there if their failure is certain. Evacuate who you can and return to Coruscant immediately. Do you understand? Ooh. Yes, Master. We need to help them. <laughs> we do what we can to relocate the survivors before they lose their planet. We must stay true to our intentions. Learn our lessons. It doesn't have to look like we're the ones helping. What if another party was involved? Another party? Uh -oh. 
Who in the galaxy would be running around with an extra batch of missiles? Is it Hondo? Hondo. Yeah! <laughs> 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 It says some good moments in this season. <laughs> I'm so stoked for this. What? What is he gonna ask for? Sky season five. Hondo. <laughs> Look at him. You come alone. I know that if I need arms shipped illegally, you're the man I need to go to. Illegally. <laughs> now, why would a Jedi need to deliver arms illegally? How about I pay you well enough that you just deliver the missiles for me and don't ask any questions? <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're not paying me in credits, I'm sure I could accommodate your wishes, Master Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hondo. He's a great character. Couldn't be more proud of you, my sister. Oh, I would want an 80 on him. I learned from the best, big brother. Oh. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. I wish I could do more. Wait. Looks like we have company. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately starts on letting him. <laughs> Could be my new favorite spy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I have brought you a gift from Skywalker and Kanobi. The latest from <laughs> Rocket launchers. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for. Very handsome. Oh. oh my, look at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, my work is done. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he great? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. They thank the Jedi. So I was like, I got this. Woo! <laughs> love to see it. I love this. Some <laughs> Wow, just massacred them all. Yeah, that was a little close range. Sila, hurry. Sila, come in. Oh. Where is the false king? Uh, I'll never tell you. Oh, I missed. Oh, he's got the bird thing, he's live. I love how he's old man running. Wait, how did those lock on? But his they found the option. <laughs> oh, close for comfort. Oh, yeah. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, the fighting's like literally 100 feet from the base. Seems like it. Down the hill. Where's the squirrel? Oh. Nice. No, 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 no. Damn, that's crazy. To defeat them will take time. A prolonged war does not interest me, General. Salvage the remaining arms and withdraw the army. <laughs> Bring them to Agamar. What about... Oh! <laughs> huh. They, re they really pumped up the drama in this season already. They got murdered. Both leaders. It was my fault. I shot that gunship down. It crashed into her position. So, it's not your fault. She knew what the risks were. We all knew what it would take to free Honduras. Restoration of the king! 
The first step. They're gonna have a statue of steel. Uh... First step towards the Saul Guerrero's radicalization. You know, I was wondering where she was after this arc, and then th that's why. You gotta push his hatred for an authoritarian government somewhere. Dude would have been a Sith. Oh, yeah. This has been quite a journey for our Padawan. Our. Steeler will be a powerful. Two dads. Just two dads. <laughs> for all of us. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. But it's over now. Let's just leave it at that. Yikes. I do believe the Republic is the right side to be on. What do you mean? Dendip has appointed me the new senator. Of He's a new senator. Let's go. I will follow in my mother's footsteps, and I will bring us back to the Republic. Remember this day, the day Andron became free again. Nice. Very good. What a what a great ending to that arc. That was a lot. So I mean, I didn't expect it to be a lot, but man, that was a lot. So they're they're really uh, season five. They're really pumping up the <laughs> drama. It seems like the first arc we get is a rebellion arc where we get introduced with Saw Gerrera and his sister Stila, and we get attached to them a little bit. And then there's an ultimate sacrifice at the last second when everything seems to be going well. Ahsoka just gets shot, which you don't expect until like you see it about to happen. And you're like, oh, and that caused Stila to die. Yeah, and it's one of Ahsoka's, you know, one of the things that Ahsoka probably reflects upon and whatnot, like one of her mistakes, maybe her tragedies, because she, as a Jedi, wants to save everybody and she, she doesn't save this person. And she was this close. And she was an Im <laughs> yeah. important person to save. Oh, absolutely. Um, and it just goes to show, you know, before this, you know, we, we see how Saw Gerrera is as a person before he starts to become that crazy person we've seen in Rogue One and Andor. And there's some point where he becomes that person, especially the type of person who doesn't trust anybody. And maybe it starts with the death of a sister. <sighs> yeah, no, I, I, that's that's definitely a good a good start. Oh, yeah. To a, a dissension. Absolutely. Um, this episode was cool, though, because you got... because of Hondo. Oh, yeah. Hondo. Just because of Hondo. So when we first met Hondo, <laughs> did you think he would become a recurring character? I feel like they gave him too much pizzazz to be like a one off. He's supposed to be. um, uh, What's his face from from Pirates of the Caribbean? Jack Sparrow. But like he's not. He's, he's, he's but like I understand what you're saying, and absolutely. But yeah. like they gave him enough of his own unique flair that it's not a pure parody. It's just inspired. Oh yeah, and part of it really is, I think, is that he's just a great character. The great voice actor Jim Cummings behind him, I believe, who's Winnie the Pooh, gets to play a pirate, and you know, it's just great because every time he's on scene, he like you said, he has so much charisma that it's like you know, oh, a Skywalker, too Where much you back, my friend. I have a deal. He's like, oh, a deal. Everybody, put your guns down. He has a deal. <laughs> a business. And I understand. <laughs> understand. And then you, you literally, like you said, as soon as he lands, he's like unloading the rockets. He's like, here you go. And then they get shot. And he's and, like, goodbye. But he's like bragging first. He's like, blah 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 blah. Oh. Well, I'm off now. <laughs> and I love how, like, you know, for example, my favorite interaction is whenever Obi-Wan Kenobi shows up with him. He's like, Kenobi, my friend. <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> and he really does, you know, has so much charisma. He's got swagger. We've never been to the Disney park. Eddie has. Uh, he is the he's the person in like that kind of is like the, the animatronic or the person like in a suit that's like in charge of the Disney parks when you run on his mm. Hondo like stuff. And it's really great because like. He is such a great character. He deserves so much in terms of to be in things because he just adds so much fun to every scene he's in, especially because it's a cartoon. You're not supposed to take it seriously, but he's also like a crime lord. He's, yes, he's yeah. um, he's like he's he's exactly the same thing as Jabba. But whereas Jabba is like fear and strength, Hondo is dexterity and charisma. <laughs> Correct. And Jabba has obviously a way larger empire that he rules under. But oh, still. of course, the Huts are, yeah, are a much eternal. bigger force than him. Yeah. But um, regardless, it's of, the same role as like, hey, I need a crime lord for yeah, crime exactly. lord things. Uh, this show, I just like to point out, as we go into the fifth season, has become more and more brutal. I mean, animations have gotten better, but they're more willing to do things like, like you know, we see that one scene where the gunship's in front of all of them at the nest, and it just literally mows everybody down. Yeah, steal it. They, they had they give us a moment of like you know success, and then take it away by having somebody fall to their death in front of. Ahsoka's eyes 
end in front of her brother's eyes, in front yeah. of her lover's eyes, mm-hmm. you know? That kiss was a giant death flag. I don't know if you caught it. Oh, yeah, no, it was pretty uh, it was pretty flagrant. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, I love the series for what it is, but, you know, the moments like this where they make you, like, they introduce you to characters, and then you, you always wonder to yourself, sometimes you're like, why isn't this person in Star Wars, like, anything else? And they're, oh, that's why. Well, that's what I'm worried about with Hondo, because he hasn't shown up in any other material that I've seen. So you think he's going to make a grandiose sacrifice? I feel like that would be so far out of character for him, but I feel like he might... One last redemption for Hondo? God, I hope not. I really would just... He's such a good character, I would like him in, like, The Mandalorian. Hondo Mando would be, like peak dialogue oh we oh my god it would have been peak <laughs> if he was in mando indeed especially because if he was like in mando interacting with like cad bane or something for example and, and don't forget like the uh, ahsoka showing up yeah too that would be, oh that would have been so great because because like, you know, like oh skywalker's young cat oh, that would have been great i love that i love that theory that's a great i'm, I'm like that's why i'm saying i'm kind of upset that i don't see well, hondo in mandalorian well i mean as of right now you know he's alive in this so there, if you i hope that yeah, he yeah. just kind of fucks off instead of dies um personally uh, I feel like I'm setting myself up for disappointment. Um, I don't know. I mean, every time you see him on screen, you love him, and that's the same act. That's the same that all car- all people who watch Star Wars and Clone Wars love Hondo for that exact reason. Some people may find him annoying, but I feel like the majority of us love Hondo. How do you find Hondo annoying? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck those people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy in the comments is going to be very. <laughs> hey, wait a second! I hate Hondo. I want to know why. Yeah, I why do you, why, why, why I do you hate Hondo? I Tell don't us get it. in the comments below if you hate Hondo. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. That was just fun. Yeah, no, that was yeah. actually uh, really good. I was genuinely surprised that the arc ended as good as it did with everything that it had in it. Oh, all the rest of the arcs. I mean, the arcs moving through. I figured we're in that. season yeah. five. Everything should be good at this point. I'm, I'm just sad that we can't just pull the bit trigger and binge like a whole day of this because like a whole day of this would be like the greatest thing. But besides that, I'm ready to end it. So thank you for joining us. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm done. All right, I'm Mikey. I'm Mikey. And we are the 732 Review Crew. We do enjoy this content. Check out the Patreon. It's full lunch for this and other series. Otherwise, we will see you next time. And to the lose. <laughs> I saw your thing. <laughs>